Hey folks, it's Red Falcon, and this is episode 10 of my Let's Play Evil Crumb Mercenary series. Um, we're here in the, uh, Soluian system, I guess is how you pronounce it. And, uh, this is the location of our next quest. And, uh, we're sitting right now in a construction station. And, uh, rather than having components that you can purchase, you can bring raw components to these stations, and they can construct, uh, components for you. Um, I don't have anything in my cargo bay right now where I demonstrate, but um, it's pretty neat to uh, little features, so keep your eyes open for stuff like that. And I just want to sit here and refuel. Went ahead and I upgraded my fuel tank to uh, 1600 capacity. And um, the thing I've, I've learned from crew members is good help is hard to find. Um, I finally found an engineer, but he left me, and so did my uh, weapon ops guy. So, yeah, from personal experience, it's best to pick crew members who have a high loyalty off the bat. So, uh, yeah, I got my science ops and my navigator. They're the only crew members left. The others left me. So, anyway. Let's begin, shall we? Do our next quest. Hiring mercenary pilots to run patrols in the main shipping lane near. And it strives to eliminate two waypoints. Eight enemy fighters, okay. Pretty straightforward. Docking track to be disengaged. Go out and kill eight enemy fighters. Oh, crap. Hold on. Okay. Let's try that again. Docking track to be engaged. Docking track to be Okay, for these stations, you'll want to actually exit the uh, station before you engage your Fulcrum Drive, or you'll blow up. See, so what happened was I clipped the uh, outside of the dock, and I blew up, so. Okay, so we're going to move into some advanced combat um, tactics. First of all, go ahead and take care of that. Take care of this guy. Um, if you click the uh, the I button, you can actually target um, individual ship's components. Like right now, if you look down um, right here, you can see that I'm set to target there engines. This is their weapon system, and that's the navigation system. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go for the weapons because I want to take these guys out. Now, um, this was a uh, combat maneuver that someone in the comments had recommended, and it's basically a, uh, a strafing run. So what you want to do is you want to approach your... First of all, you want to isolate a target like this guy right here and you want to head just your heading like so and I'm gonna try switch into ID switch uh, into inertial and then drift by and blow them the bits the idea is um, oh yeah and then switch into IDS and approach him again. Now because we're in a bigger ship, um, we don't get knocked around as much when we get hit. Watch your shields here. Okay, I need to get out of here. Full power to the rear shields. Okay. They notice we took some hull damage. And because we have a repair system, it's slowly recharging. Now, if we had an engineer who was actually loyal, um, the subsystems would repair drastically um, faster, and um, the hull would probably um, repair a little faster, too. But for right now, this is fine. All right. Now what I found out is if you approach them at 2,000, 
Um, missiles can't hit you for one, but you have to be uh, really quick about just unloading as much of your firepower in one blast, and usually you can take one guy out on one swing, and then when you get down to like two, maybe three, you can start taking them out uh, individually without doing these strafing maneuvers, but it's a great way to take out multiple enemies. I am going to go ahead and target this guy's weapons. I'll switch into inertia. Alright, and you want to get about 2,000 distance before you make your another your uh, other approach. Oh, and those guys are taking these guys out for me. I don't like that. All right. Alert, inbound Alright, you know what? There's only three of them. I think I can... Oh, crap. I am not in a good position right now. Okay. Well, see, I was still drifting at 2,000, so... That wasn't too bad. But anyway, um... Yeah, maneuvering with a big ship like this is a little different, but... You'll find that uh, you can take a few more hits. Just uh, don't rely on that your tanking ability too much. Speed's still important, even when you're this big. Oh, I hit the wrong key there. All right, I can take this guy out pretty easily. Okay, you know, I don't like that my afterburner's tied in with my uh, weapon's power. But the quest did say we'd fight significantly uh, tougher opponents. And these guys are pretty tough. Try this again. I'm gonna try to do a strafing maneuver on this guy. And I haven't really played this game much, so my com my dog fighting skills are a little rusty. Did I get my next waypoint? I don't even remember. Oh, I got my new waypoint. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next waypoint. I set myself up for my approach. Uh, that guy. Well, let's target his weapons, why not? I 
Now the only problem with this is it uses up a good bit of fuel because you have to decelerate after you come back and then swing back so you guys can play around with this maneuver and figure out ways that work with you. That's one of the reasons I upgraded my uh, fuel tank. I didn't even penetrate a shield. Alright, let's try this again. Ah, crap. Crap. Took a lot of damage there. Oh crap, oh crap, oh no, ah, uh, that was stupid. Okay, so I just showed you what not to do in that situation. Sorry folks, I'm just having a hard time getting back in my uh, swing of things. I've been playing uh, Wing Commander uh, 1, 2, and 3, and I'm so used to their... Uh, um, the flight mechanics in those games that I actually forgot how to play this game. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Alright. But I'm sure uh, if you guys are watching this, you probably have your own fond memories of playing Wing Commander. Because, uh, um, I pledged for uh, Star Citizen, Chris Roberts' new uh, project, and uh, it occurred to me that the only Chris Roberts game I had ever played was um, Freelancer, and so I thought I'd go back and play the uh, oh, play the first Wing Commander game, and I really enjoyed it, and played the second one, and now I'm on the third one. Shield's taking a beating. Alright. But even though my ship's taking a beating, my old ship would have been destroyed in one hit. Alright, let's try another pass. Oh, and I'm flying into the sun, so this, this isn't all. This isn't very good. I don't know, let's try to take out his weapons. See what that does. Oh, it looks like we're getting some help from this uh, guardian up there. And uh, you can actually hire people. You can actually hire um, pilots to fly in your wing, and you can give them orders, uh, a lot like in Wing Commander. Okay, I don't even know what's going on. He's a rebel. He's a rebel. Why was a rebel shooting on another rebel ship? I'm, I'm confused. I guess maybe they had a difference of opinion. Fuck. Ah, damn it! Ah, I blew up again. Okay. What did I do wrong? I'll tell you what I did wrong. I stood still too long. That's what happened. Docking tractor beam disengaged. That's what happened. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so, prime example. Don't stand still. You'll get blown to bits. I'm sure I've already covered Alert. that. Okay, now that's how you do a strafing maneuver. Okay, so we're... Okay, let me show you how to do this proper now. So we're going to wait... Until we're at least 2,000 kilometers away. Oh yeah, 
might help if I turn that on. And we're going to make our new approach. I want to approach at an angle. Whoa, what the? It just hit me. Oh yeah, go ahead and throw some power to your shields after you finish your pass. Get your shields back up, and then rinse, lather, repeat. And so you want to switch into IDS mode. Get your set, you get your heading and your speed back, and there you go. So yeah, IDS does have its place in combat. target his weapon systems. Let's see if that missile can actually hit him. Oh cool, took him out, nice. Excess missiles for the win. I guess I shouldn't be too uh, too stingy about the Exodus missiles. I've got eight of them. Well, six now. All right, let's go for in for another pass. Alert! Inbound missile. Okay. And inertial mode. Alert, inbound missile. Yeah, might as well go off fire a missile too. Okay, Leviathan. Someone looked pretty beat up. Oh, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll take out this Phoenix next. Ooh, and I did that a little too early, so it's after burner up a little bit. Let's get out of there. Okay, here we go. Okay, how are we looking damage-wise? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Another mistake I made, I forgot to throw power back into my weapons when I went in there, so... Yeah, there's that. Ah, well, looks like we're done here. These guys mopped them up for me. Alright. Let's head to our new objective. And this should be the last waypoint. <laughs> and we're going to blast past him. Drop a countermeasure. And as soon as we get out of range, launch a missile. I don't think that actually did anything to him. No, I didn't even penetrate his shields. But we didn't take any damage, so that's good. Okay, next pass. We're going to target his weapons next. And like I said, if you do um, approach them too close, or if you start your reapproach too close, you can always use your afterburner. But it's more fuel efficient just to use IDS to. Um, change your ship heading. Actually, that Leviathan got messed up pretty bad on my last pass. Alright, wait till we're at 2000. Deploy our countermeasures. There we 
we go ahead and launch a missile, why not? Okay, he's out. Okay, next guy. It's Legacy. Okay, looks like one of his side shields is out. And you kind of want to be a little close to him when you reapproach. But anyway, this uh, this type of dogfighting maneuver um, is great if you're facing multiple opponents, like I said, and you want to pick them off one by one. And you should be traveling fast enough that you won't take any missile damage. Alert. Inbound missile. And with a big ship like this, you can take the hits. Okay, see? Now let's do a... Uh, Take these other guys out. Ah, crap. Done. Okay, only took me three tries. <laughs> okay, so since you survived the skirmish, we have a much more challenging task for you. Uh, let's see here. Ah, spying. Spying's fun. And something we'll get in on the next episode. So I'm going to call the episode right here. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.